Hey everybody, it's Julie here. I'm from Mahalo. You probably knew that, but welcome again to Guitar Instruction. Today I am going to teach you how to play the strokes under cover of darkness. This is a very cool song. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you um, the basic beginner rhythm that you need, and we will do um, another video for all the cool lead parts too that you could check out after this. So, what we need first. We need B major, and we're going to play this up on the 7th fret. So we're going to bar the 7th fret, and then 9, 9, and then 8 with the 2nd finger. And you're going to strum this 4 times like this. And then we're going to move this up to C sharp minor. So we're going to move it up 2 frets, so now we're barring the 9th, and then 11, 11, no middle finger four times. So that's your very basic intro without all the stuff in between, which I'll show you later on. Let's get to our verse. So our verse, we need these chords. B major, and then we need D sharp minor, or some of you like to call it E flat minor. Remember, it is the same chord. And so that one you're going to bar across on the sixth fret and then eight, eight, and seven. I had to think about that for a second. I know my numbers. Okay, six, eight, eight, seven, uh, bar up to the A string. D sharp minor. Then we have G sharp minor, bar the fourth fret, sixth fret, sixth fret, fifth fret. Oh, sorry, no fifth fret, nope, because it's minor. Remember, minor chords, no middle finger. At least when you're starting from the low E string. And then you're going to come to E major bar chord style. And we are going to bar across that 7th fret to the A string. And then we got 9, 9, 9. So we got B major, D sharp minor, G sharp minor, E major. And now the easy way to play this would be all downs like this. show you a little bit more difficult strumming pattern. I'm going to show you what he kind of actually does here, which is... So what is he doing? Let's break it down. We're going to do down, up, hit, up, down, hit. So it's like down, up, hit, up, down, then mute it. That's what the hits mean. So we do that on all those four chords again, which are E, D sharp minor, G sharp minor, E major. We go back, do it again. There's one difference here. with this part of the verse is we're going to go from G sharp minor to C sharp minor. So you're still barring that fourth fret across to the A string. And then we got 6-6 six, six, and now the middle finger comes on the fifth fret of the B because remember it's a minor chord and when we make a minor from the A string, we do need our middle finger. And this time we're actually going to switch to straight downs for this part. And then we go back. So that second part is going to sound like this. We got the right to us to use it. Got everything to choose it. And then we get to. I guess I'm going to lump this all into one big chorus here. So let's get to our chorus. G sharp minor. E major, B major, and then F sharp major all the way up here. We bar the 10th fret, 
and then 13, 13, and then 13. And this time, we are gonna uh, switch ourselves, strumming pattern-wise, over to a straight kind of down, sort of, kind of like a train sort of thing, like. So we got G-sharp minor. Sharp major again, G sharp minor. One more time. But I will call you. And then back to B. And then we go back to C sharp minor. four times, and then we go back and do our verse, but only the second half of the verse, where we switch from that G-sharp to C-sharp minor. Um, go through that whole chorus again, and now we are into our solo part. So the chords you play for the solo, C-sharp minor, D-sharp minor, and B. So at least the first half of the solo. There's more to that, but basically, I'll sing the solo so you can kind of hear it. So it's C sharp minor, D sharp minor, C sharp minor, B. And now, for the little solo breakdown part, um, you're going to stay on B and you're going to strum down like this for uh, one measure. Then you're going to switch to E minor. E minor, what you want to do, bar that 7th fret and then just move these fingers to the ninth, and ninth frets on the next two strings and then the 8th fret, put that 2nd finger down because again it's minor. So we got... Back to B, G sharp minor. And then we go back to C sharp minor, D sharp minor, C sharp minor, and on B. And then we go back and go out with our chorus. And that is kind of the easy way on how you're gonna play under cover of darkness. Um, yes, you're gonna have to make a lot of bar chords, but it's good for you. It's like going to the dentist. You gotta do it sometimes. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you comment, rate, and subscribe. To learn how to play more songs, check out these videos or go to mahalo.com slash play guitar.